Hey everyone, welcome back to Driver 3. Instead of doing the missions like I have been, I thought I'd take a little break from them because they are getting a little frustrating. I decided that instead... Sorry, I'm just, I'm always amazed that there's an automatic door in this. Either way, um, when I was a kid and I couldn't really do the missions, so just I wasn't good enough, I would just drive around and do whatever I could driving around. And one of the things I loved to do was take the, I think this is like a, a Ford or maybe a Chevy or something. It looks like a Ford to me, like a bullnose or something. Either way, I'd take this or the SUV that looks like a Bronco or a Blazer and I'd go find little places to like kind of do rock crawling or just general off-roading. It's kind of hard because you're in the city, of course, but if we start off at the mansion kind of place, the big house, go this way, over to South Point Park, there's a good, like, brick wall that's made out of rocks right over there. And it's actually quite fun to try and rock crawl over. This game being as old as it is and what it is, it's not meant for this, so the truck doesn't have proper moving um, axles and, you know, all the special details that it would have nowadays, but it also doesn't have the most, like, articulation or anything. But it is all, uh, all wheel drive or four wheel drive. I'm not sure what it would be considered in this game. But, like I said, I would just... It looks like it might be rear wheel drive. Either way, I would just literally spend hours trying to go along this little rock wall and just do crawling. Because, thanks to my dad, I absolutely love off-roading and rock crawling and stuff. So yeah, this is probably going to be a bit more of a boring video compared to usual. And I think my typical videos are pretty boring, but... Yeah, I'm also a lot better at it now than I used to be. It's also a lot easier with triggers instead of only having the X button. And then there's moments like this, where you just kinda get stuck. Come on. There we go. Nope. This is probably gonna end up in the water. Ooh, maybe not. So yeah. That's the kind of thing I used to do here, and I just, I'd spend so much time just doing that. There is another spot that I'll show that I'd kind of do a little off-roady type stuff at, too. It'd be really cool to uh, figure out how to mod this and put in little driving areas. Like, I know this is primarily meant for a uh, single-player story kind of experience, but Driver has always had its free roam elements, and the free roam has always been pretty good. Because for its time, the driving physics and the damage model and whatnot have always been really good. Like, I've always enjoyed the driving in the Driver games way more than the driving in the GTA games. It's just, it's always felt better and... Terrible grammar, but it's felt more proper. <laughs> the vehicles actually understeer when they should, they oversteer when they should, they have a proper kind of sense of speed. Um, you can also go along the beach where those rocks were, and I'm Pretty sure there's like little dunes and stuff. Actually, I should go back. I'll head back really quick and uh, cut out the drive back 
just because it's probably a little annoying. I also have the place turned off at the moment, so it's not annoying. There's the SUV I was talking about. There we go. Those are the dunes that I'm talking about. They're not really like dunes, they're more like sand hills, but... Need to find a hole in the wall. I oh oops. I do really wish we could mod this like it's possible to mod GTA. GTA is just simply you know, it's simple to mod, it's easy. All the files are easily accessible, easily easy to read and modify. Whereas this is not. It is, from my understanding, quite hard to mod this. Um, it's easy to do like a reshade or something because that's just an injector or a wrapper, depending on the version and whatnot, or ENB. It's just post processing. Yeah. Um, but, like vehicles and stuff, you can put different vehicles in each city, you just rename a file to the other city. And then you can get, say, the Istanbul vehicles here in Miami. But, as far as I'm aware, other than, I think there's a mod menu now, and there might be something else, but other than that, there's not really any mods for this. But yeah. I'm not Here's another thing I would do, is just drive along the sand hills and do like jumps and stuff. But I will head over to the uh, other spot below that I was talking about. Actually, I'll show it on the map really quick. If we go... Come on. It scrolls so slowly. Do do do. Up under the highway around here, I believe it is. It's like a big construction site. And there's lots of stuff to kind of play on. So let's head over there in my now broken truck. And on top of the driving physics, the models were always better than in a GTA also. Like, this has a proper engine bay and modeled engine and stuff. Proper axles, although they don't move. Whereas most of the vehicles in San Andreas did. The only vehicles in San Andreas that have actual, like, moving axles would be the monster truck, the lowriders, and Sand King for San Andreas specifically. Um, I don't think earlier Grand Theft Autos even had that. And then all their engine bays were just flat, mostly flat 2D textures. This game's just always had a special place for me. That's all. I would really like to rebuild this truck on Beam and G Drive. It likely wouldn't be too hard. Just grab the D-series, put the long bed on it, and the lifted suspension, um, the roll bar, with the mixed lights on it, and then probably the 4.5 or the 5.5 or whatever it is, V8, mostly stock, if not completely stock, and then the sport exhaust. And you'd have this truck. It'd be kind of cool. I should totally do that and put it in my configuration pack. Um, I've mentioned in my... I want to say career mode, but the normal missions videos. How my brother and I would play this. And we jump in the dump truck or something. And, uh... Just wreak havoc. 
We'd hit cars, run over people, do jumps, and just smash things. And then watch the replay. And then the replay would mess it up and do other stuff than what we did. It was weird. So either way, like I said, we come up over here to this spot. And then we, oops, and can't tangled in cords. And then we come off the road, up this dirt path, into the uh, construction area. And here's some more little things that I just kind of play on. We didn't really have proper off-roading games back when this came out. There wasn't really anything for rock crawling or anything off-road. Like the car didn't exist, Baja Edge of Control didn't exist. Um, I'm sure there's something that I don't know of that had better off-roading capabilities, but this is what I did. When we come over here, there's a spot where the road isn't done yet. And you can just kind of play around here, too. I was like, I don't know, 10-ish at the time, so 10-year-old me absolutely loved doing this. Try and drive along the big pipe. Now that I'm used to playing Beam and G Drive and stuff and off-roading in that, this is nothing compared to that. But, back in the day, this was a lot of fun. And I've been wanting to do a video based on this for a while. I don't know why, I just, I've wanted to. Like, sure there's, I think I mentioned this already, but sure there's the, um, the racetrack where you find the go-kart and a couple other hidden places. But, that's not off-roading, and off-roading is what I like. Technically, this isn't really off-roading, because technically this is a dirt road, but either way, there's a dump truck. Pretty sure you can put cars in the back of it, but the back doesn't go up or anything, so. Um, I'm just trying to think of... anywhere else that I used to go to. I just kind of drive around. It was a lot of fun. Look for secrets. There's quite a few secrets in this. Um, the... The Timmy Vermicellis are... a poke or a joke of... um... Tommy Vassetti in... Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and since he can't swim in Vice City, they made him have water wings in this to kind of make fun of him. Actually, there's one of him over here, if I'm remembering correctly. Need to get to Little Haiti. Havana, sorry. I'm a road over. This is where that construction area usually comes out. Oh, stop honking at me. But yeah. I'd go do donuts and stuff in the football stadium and all kinds of stuff. I know the building that I'm looking for, but I can't remember exactly where he is. There should be a building with a little extra bit on the rooftop. There might be one down in that parking garage also. If you get or find and kill all the Tommy, Timmy Vermicellis in Miami, you unlock a mode, I forget what it's called, but you then go to the armory, there's an armory on each map as well. But you go to the armory, which is in someone's backyard, I can go check that out too. Because it's nearby, but either way, 
go to the armory, and then there's some kind of mode that starts. And there's a bunch of Timmy's driving around in red transport trucks. And they act kind of like the cops. If, and if they see them, or see you, they chase you and try to kill you. And it's very difficult. But the armory is behind, oops, one of these houses. There it is. So kind of lined up with that road and a lighthouse. Come back into their backyard. Oops, wrong button. They've even got a nice pool. This is quite a nice yard. I would love to live in this house. Lots of grass space, a pool, everything. Neat looking lighthouse in front of it. And then they've got like a bomb shelter. If you listen carefully, I'll, uh, if I remember, I'll turn up the volume in post-processing, but because I haven't killed them all, I can't go in. But if you listen, you can hear that the door's locked. So normally, if you kill them all, you can go in there and there's an armory. And like I said, it starts the little side game when you go in and uh, you can top up on health and ammo and whatnot. So yeah, um, I think since I still have another 10 minutes to go and I'm kind of out of stuff to talk about, I thought this would take longer. I think I'll take a couple pictures of the truck and quickly make it in beam. Because why not? So let's go up here. Once I'm done doing the single player missions, I will likely move on to parallel lines. What button is it for pictures? Because this isn't running through Steam. I've got the gaming overlay open at the moment, but you can't see it. And everything's all shifted around again. It likes to shove everything in the top left corner. Pictures are Windows Alt and Print Screen. Okay. Windows Alt. Ugh! Alt makes it go. Windows Alt Print Screen. It also brings out the gun. Like, Alt is the button I have set for firing, so... Windows all print screen. Okay. It actually said it took the picture that time, so I'll take one of the front again. There we go. Alright. Let's jump over to beam really quick. As I shoot the truck. Okay, so back in beam. Um I grabbed a long bed two door D series, D15 to be specific. Um, the bed seems a little bit long, but that can easily be changed. So let's go down. I always use the VR plate design. I don't know why, I just like to. Um, a little glass tint. I'm going to do this as vanilla as I can to start with. So, to get it like the one in driver, no brake lock, no ABS, no traction or control or anything. We need the sport muffler. Um, I might as well use some of my stuff. I want to put this in my configuration pack, so I don't think the one in G or driver had a spare. As for the long bed, there's no antennas. 
but there's a single roll bar that is like a metally chromey type. There isn't really any chrome or anything in Driver because of how the engine works, there just isn't anything that's shiny. So there's that. And then I need to put on the quad mixed lights. There we go. And then I think I'll stick with the halogen bulbs just to keep it as accurate as I can. Tailgate can, it can stay the way it is. No navigation unit, back window, stoplight, lettering, light bar. Don't need the light bar. Roll cage, that's the back at the moment. Just got a simple bar. It does have running boards. At least I'm pretty sure it does. I should, uh, you know, I should have pulled up the pictures. To wherever they are. Yes, it has running boards, but I think I need the short running boards. Yep, there we go. And the length of the bed does look correct, it's just the roll bar on driver is much shorter. Um, I The um, pictures go into my normal captures spots, so that uh, they're all with my videos and stuff too, my gaming moments. Okay, so there's that. No snorkel spotlights or anything. It does have heavy duty mirrors though. And. It looks like the door handles would be metal, but can't do metal, so I'm just going to leave them like that. Early heavy duty mirror that is chrome. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. There we go. Now we've got the mirrors. The fenders can stay the way they are. The hood. To match the pictures I took, I have to take the hood off, but that's because I crashed a bunch of times. Dashboard. Gotta put the dinosaur. Range selector. Gotta have that. Five speed. Let's go to automatic. And then I'll change it to an auto when I get down to the engine. Bumpers. Ooh. Basic metal bumpers. So, early front chrome. Early rear chrome. I'm pretty sure it's a step bumper, but I could be wrong. And then let's go with the 4.5 liter. I'm going to put race exhaust manifolds on it because why not? And the six speed auto. Need a transfer case. That's fine. Muffler is fine. That's all it really was. Um front of the truck is either, I think it would be like a chrome color, but it's hard to tell because of the game. So I'm going to go with chrome for now, and then a chrome grill insert, and the rest is fine. Except I'm going to put the grill badge in the middle. There we go. Alright, on to the suspension. Front end needs to be on leaf springs. 
so that is the solid axle I think yeah because the beam is just the two wheel drive beam yep here we go <clears throat> and then we need off-road steps uh, no sway bar locking and then I will do the wheels in a moment off-road off-road no sway bar you don't really need sway bars with leaf springs but depending on the vehicle they can still help um, you definitely do not want a panhard bar or something with leaf springs because it will just bind and or track bar it'll just bind and cause issues that's one thing I don't like about the Miramar in this is the racing suspension in it has leaf springs in the back but it also has a um, track bar for some reason five lug hubs one two all right they should be six lug they look like six lug in driver and then I think I need to go up to they kind of look like 17s but I'll try make putting on bigger tires first if I can no, I can't with these rims. Wheels, whatever. And they're more of like a silverish gray. Actually, that looks kind of kind of close. I still need bigger tires though. Those look a bit bigger. They are a bit bigger. Okay. They have technically the same sidewall at 75%, but they're wider, therefore it's also more sidewall. That's one thing I always forget when I'm looking for different wheels. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty accurate to me need to change it to a gray color I kinda like that carbon gray that looks about right so there we go in a quick 10 minutes that's what I managed to make based off the truck and driver I love I just woke up, so my allergies are still kind of meh. By the way, I love trying to build vehicles from other games in this and seeing how they turn out. I had the Cartel Cruiser from GTA 3 in this for a while, and it looked and sounded pretty good too, but I never drove it, so I got rid of it. By the way, pretty sure I am now out of time for today, so yeah. If you would like me to actually add this to my configuration pack, let me know. Otherwise, feel free to uh, kind of use this as a tutorial for building it. I don't know if it has a specific name in driver or not, or if it's just like pickup truck or something. But yeah. I actually quite like this. Most people, myself included, tend to just go to the extreme when they're doing vehicles in this. Making vehicles like the Supra I was tuning last night has like 3,200 horsepower or something. But it's nice to also slow down, quite literally, and make something a bit more normal. This only has 372 horsepower and 195 foot-pounds of torque. It's just a normal basic truck. 
but it can be just as much fun as that 3,000 power horsepower Supra, so... Either way, as usual, if you have any tips, tricks, questions, anything you want me to check out, feel free to leave it in the comments below. As always, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.